Uh, but during this time of the pandemic, we have seen the need for testing centers to be put up quickly uh, and you know, kind of distributed quite widely across the country. One company helping to do that is SG Blocks, and their CEO, Paul Galvin, joins us now. SG Blocks is the company that takes old shipping containers and repurposes them for restaurants, homes, other sources. Paul, now you guys are working with uh, medical providers to, to turn them into mobile testing labs for COVID. Uh, talk to us a bit about how this uh, came up and, and what you've been able to do so far. Sure. Well, first of all, thanks for having us today. We appreciate the opportunity to kind of discuss what's going on at all things SG Blocks. We have been um, working in creating a turnkey solution for administrators and managers that have to be responsible for populations, in particular, COVID PCR testing. So recently, uh, after months of putting together a program, we were able to launch some testing at LAX Airport and we'll be uh, launching a new product called the DTEC 2.3, which is a mobile lab uh, made out of shipping containers that's being erected at LAWA now um, with the great assistance of both uh, the leadership and the operations teams at LAX Airport. We were able to deliver a CLIA lab in six weeks, normally a 12 month process. Um, Paul, we're showing some pictures of uh, the various SG blocks and, and the different uses for them. I'm, I'm guessing you're in one right now. Is that is that correct? Uh, not yet. Um, uh, not yet. Oh, this okay. Could easily, this could easily be a container home. It's uh, it's just dimensionally correct. Gotcha. So, so that's that's why I drew that conclusion. Sorry. So I'm curious, sort of for background, what normally happens with these shipping containers? Are they discarded in some way? Or are they just reused for shipping until they fall apart? And so what's the sort of cost structure as you take them over and repurpose them? Sure. So the containers are aggregating on our side of the economy because of our kind of low manufacturing basis. So when goods and transported into the company, a uh, country, the empty containers stack up around the US at the ports. And so what we were able to do is to design a technology to take these implements of transportation and using uh, technology and creativity, we uh, created a code compliant uh, building system that can build apartments and homes. And right now we've been very focused in on the medical space in creating uh, labs and testing centers and things that can help people get back to live, work, travel normal. Paul, I originally came in contact with your work with uh, with Starbucks pre pre pandemic. Uh, what are you doing in the restaurant space now? Because as you look across the landscape, really a lot of these restaurants may no longer have indoor dining after the pandemic. Yeah, it's a very good point. We're we're all heartbroken for, you know vendors and companies and friends that have had interruptions or loss of employment. Food is one of those industries where a lot of the institutions that are closing are not going to be able to reopen the same way. We think food courts and pop-up restaurants and things in containers are a really low barrier to entry for entrepreneurs to get back at work. And it's uh, much less uh, cost costly than a typical lease and build out. So we do see a lot of folks from the food and beverage industry contacting us, looking to reimagine their businesses. And Paul, maybe shifting over to the residential side, um, there was a, I guess, a kind of a micro home movement, maybe uh, we could call it that in the 2010s. People wanted to be a little more flexible. They wanted to buy land and do different things with it. Um, do you kind of expect that people are still going to want that on the other side of the pandemic and kind of keep, I think, where maybe the part of the market you were, were playing in a little bit, um, sort of keep that momentum alive once we get through this. Absolutely. Um, SG Blocks is all about right-sizing buildings. And so into the new year, we're working on bringing three smaller homes to market. We're going to work on providing finances for our buyers. Uh, people are realizing they don't need 2,000 or 3,000 square feet to live. Most traffic patterns in houses show kind of small footprints work on an actualized basis. So we're looking forward to bringing some homes to market early in the new year. All right, Paul Galvin is the CEO of SG Blocks. Paul, uh, really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Uh, hope we'll be in touch. Yeah, thanks. And uh, we appreciate the time and we're gonna be focused in on uh, delivering the tests to Wayne County. We're uh, doing 7,000 PCR tests a day. So we look to do about a million tests in the first six months for Wayne County residents, and 
Our partner on that is Memorial Healthcare, and we want to give Brian Long and his team a big shout out for their leadership in addressing the needs of Wayne County. Thank you. Yeah, great work you guys are doing over there in Michigan. Paul, thanks for the time today.